All over Jam, really? Now, I have seen that Meghan Markle has come out with her first product for American Riviera Orchard, her new lifestyle brand. Well, she has the jam. Apparently, she made 50 of them because she is passing them out to close friends and loved ones, and they're numbered, okay? And for those of you guys who follow this, you know that there are two sides to this whole Meghan royal family, Harry, Kate, and William scenario. It's just in we have the extremist side of things and then we have the bystanders who kind of just like tip in and see what's happening but there are people who are so obsessed in their hate and supposed dislike of Meghan Markle um, that they will research and give us information and put together spreadsheets for whose benefit, yet they hate this woman. They are making spreadsheets of the numbered, because people are, you know, putting it out on their IGs and on their stories, um, showing people that they've gotten Megan's basket with the jam and, you know, what number they are. If they're like three through 50 or 10 through 50, um, they're like posting it, doing tastings. I've seen videos of, you know, them taking it out of the little jar and scooping it and spreading it all over their bread, like doing it all chic-like, very cute. Um, her friends are supporting her. My God, like how dare she have friends and how dare they support her. So they're promoting her product, which is not for sale yet. And they've made a spreadsheet and they're filling in which number <laughs> bottle of jam went to what person so if it went to Tracy Ellis what Tracy Ellis Ross they'll put okay Tracy Ellis Ross got uh jam number 10 or um uh, Mindy Kaling got jam number seven and they've made a fucking chart for it I have now seen the body language guy on YouTube he has a fraudulent bottle of jam they have taken themselves so far and put so much effort into their dislike that they have now proceeded to make a replica of her jam and he has it and is like trying to like talk shit about it like what is the point what is the point it's just so i have seen people going to buy the king's jam which i didn't even know was a thing apparently it's called high grove and they're going and buying all his stuff out to somehow show their displeasure in Megan having her own jam with American Riviera Orchard. For people who do not like her, they spend the most attention, the most time, the most effort, and now their own hard-earned money, which of course you can do whatever you want with, but they're willing to do all of that for a woman that they supposedly do not like and at the end of the day what is the point like she does not know you exist <laughs> it's so interesting to watch it is so interesting to watch so just a little quick video so you guys could see that Megan has her jam out I'm sure she's you know testing it out trying to get feedback from her friends and family will make the critiques and corrections if she gets any or maybe it's fabulous and needs no critiques and it's ready to be out for sale so of course I have signed up for the uh I joined like the wait list or whatever on her website you can join and I guess it'll let you know when things go on for sale so I'll for sure be watching that and when I do know I'll try to get me a little bottle of jam <laughs> we'll do a little taste test we'll try it out on some toast because at this point I feel like I get it like people are like this whole other side of things of what they call the squad were all that people decided to come to Megan's defense because they saw how bad it was getting and they saw how unfair it was and the treatment she was getting and the hypocrisies and that's why this whole squad thing started online where there's the derangers and the squaddies it's so 
crazy. Online is like a universe in itself. It's like a whole other, <laughs> oh my goodness. Anyway, regardless, I think that at the end of the day, they, di they dislike her, yet they're promoting her stuff and don't even realize it. Um, I'm drawing more attention to it because they're still talking about it. So congratulations for Megan and her jam. And I also saw that Harry is like officially a U.S. resident. He has uh, filed that paperwork and um, USA is home and people feel a type of way about that yet wanted him kicked out and it, the contradictory I, I don't even think they know what they want at this point They're, they just dislike her so much that it's overcome any sense of like rationale I think they've really lost the plot to be upset over jam it's fucking jam jelly if you will my apologies I kept saying bottles of jam it's jars of jam but what I will say that I think that it's good that Megan passed out the jars to her friends and loved ones first before putting it out to public because it gives them a chance to give her honest feedback and critiques because the public, once she puts it out, they're going to be highly, highly critical. They're waiting to tear apart anything she puts out product wise. Just waiting for it, salivating. The Daily Mail can't wait to get their hands on a piece of American Riviera Orchard products. They can't wait. So it has to be perfect. So I hope that her family has, or you know, loved ones, have given her honest critiques, such as I have seen from her haters, people who don't necessarily like her, let me say that, that on some of the jars, you can see where the labeling is lifting and coming off. So that in itself is a critique that I think that they need to fix. So I hope American Riviera Orchard has seen that. I hope that her friends have let her know that little tidbit because even something as simple as that is going to create an issue if it's released to the public people are going to take problem with that because you want this is like a jar where you can keep it's something that can be reused and maybe you want to have the labeling there because it came from american Riviera orchard so they're going to want to keep that labeling that is your it should be not as important as what's inside it it should be it's very important that you're labeling your company name, your literal name, <laughs> um, be placed and be permanent and not be lifting like that. So I hope that Megan has taken notice of that and they'll rectify it if and when the jam goes out to public. But I'll for sure be looking out and uh, let you guys know.